identified by Teamsters, celebrity television host Padma Lakshmi in court testifying that she was harassed by union workers. The Top Chef host says she was petrified, petrified by the men who were taunting her. Four Charlestown-based Teamsters are on trial accused of trying to extort Lakshmi and the show so that they would hire union workers. Louisa Moeller is live at federal court with more on today's testimony. Louisa? Well, Lisa David Lakshmi and other witnesses described how a group of large men prevented them from driving into the parking lot of a Milton restaurant, yelled into their cars, unlike any picket line Lakshmi says she's ever seen before. This is a sudden death quick fire. From the heat of the kitchen to the courtroom, Padma Lakshmi, the celebrity host of the cooking competition show Top Chef, testified in federal court Monday that she felt under fire from a group of union workers now charged with using threats to shut down the show in an attempt to extort jobs. Your mama would be so proud. Yeah. At least she knows I'm not a scab like you. Cell phone video shows members of the Charlestown-based local 25 Teamsters shouting profanities and a racial slur outside Steel and Rye Restaurant in Milton, where the show took its production on the road in 2014. What'd you say? You heard me. Lakshmi told the judge she felt targeted by one man in particular. Quote, he put his arm into the window and said, oh, looky here, what a pretty face, she said. I felt like he was bullying me. I could feel my heart beat in my chest. She claims he also yelled an anti-gay slur at her driver. These photos showing when Lakshmi and other Top Chef staffers say their tires were slashed. Top Chef employee Sandy Birdsong identified the man in the middle of this photograph, one of the four defendants on trial, John Fiddler, as the one who leaned in to Lakshmi's car. Quote, I heard a man say, there's the pretty one. He said that he would mess up her pretty face. Now the other defendants are Daniel Redman, Robert Caffarelli, and Michael Ross. All of them have denied the charges, and this case is expected to be in the hands of the jury later this week. Live outside federal court, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. Louisa, thank you.